Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I want to demonstrate a quick tip for you to fix the missing analysis view entries issue in Dynamics Nav or Dynamics 365. So um, the analysis view is used in Dynamics Nav or Dynamics 365 to analyze uh, the GL accounts data against your, uh, the dimensions you set up in the general ledger setup. So the dimensions in uh, Dynamics Nav or Business Central is used for the reporting purpose for analysis. You can see I set up the dimension. The, these are the dimensions in exist in this system. Uh, so I have the sales campaign area, business group, and salesperson. So you can see those uh, dimensions set up in your general ledger setup. Only after you set up those dimensions in your general ledger setup, then you can use them to analyze in your analysis view. So you have to set them up as global dimension or short, shortcut dimensions in your general ledger setup first. Then you will be able to select them when you use analysis view to analyze your GL accounts. Okay, so you can, you can see you can also analyze your cash flow accounts except for GL accounts. And let's open our analysis view. So uh, on the analysis view, you can set up to anal analyze a GL account range and uh, the date. Uh, you can comprise, uh, compress the date by week or you can compress the date by month. So what happens when you select the date, date compression is like if you compress the date uh, by month, then one uh, there's in this case, because we set up update on posting, which means every time there's general ledger entries posted, then it will generate analysis view entries. And if you select the date compression by months and you go to your analysis view entries, then you will see everything posted into that month will be, uh, will be uh, posted to uh, the first day of that month. So for example, you could see many of these entries has the, uh, the first day of the month. That's because uh, you um, comprise the make the date compression to be month. If you select by week, then it will use the first first day of that week, and uh, everything posted within that week will use the first date of the week as the posting date. In when it generate anal analysis view entries from the general ledger entries. If you don't turn on update on posting, so like this this uh, analysis view then uh, you have to manually click on update in order for uh, the general ledger entries to update your analysis view and to uh, generate analysis view entries. Sometimes then you will say, oh, the on the report from the analysis view, I don't see the data updated. What is that? So it could be one, uh, the general ledger entries is trying to update your analysis view or analysis view uh, entries, then there's a table lock. So those entries could be skipped after the table lock is released. So that could be the case. But if that's the case, if you set up the update on posting, those general ledger entries is already posted. So they're not going to be posted again, right? But how you don't have a processing report in DevSnap or Business Central to retrieve those missed analysis view entries. So in that case, what you can do, okay? So if that's the case, then uh, you can just uh, temporarily switch off this update on posting, just uh, disable update on posting. Then once you disable this, you could see um, that you should, this, this is grayed out, then you should be able to click on update. Then it will be manually update your analysis view entries. And just pay attention to the starting date. So uh, if you are missing any entries, because I'm using a demo system, so uh, it only allow me to use the future date. So uh, it is using the year 2024 and my current work date is January the 25th, 2024, okay? So that's why you see the starting date is January the 1st, 2024. So actually it's before the work date. So there should be some entries. Uh, so for you, like uh, if you want to, uh, you want the system to retrieve the missing analysis view entries, then you have to set up the starting date uh, from the date, like you have the missing entries or from the period, the period start date, like your missing entries uh, was in, right? So then after you set up that starting date, then you can manually click on update. 
So this will retrieve those missing entries if any entries are missing in the analysis view entries. But there's but you could see there's a general ledger entries generated, but just uh, did not generate the analysis view entries. That's the case. Okay. So um, just to summarize, if you have any scenarios like uh, you have missing analysis view entries or analysis view uh, not updating, and uh, then you can just uh, manually switch off. And uh, the, analysis view, the analysis view is set up to uh, update on posting, then you can manually switch, temporarily switch off, update on posting, and uh, put the starting date on the analysis view to a uh, beginning date you want to retrieve all those missing entries and then you can manually click on update so that will retrieve those missing analysis view entries for you okay thank you so much for watching this youtube video i hope to see you guys again next time